Around 6 million years ago, a branch of apes evolved into the first species of the genus Homo. They exchanged long climbing arms for stronger legs and began walking upright, leaving forests to explore open grasslands. As their brains grew, they mastered fire, hunted great beasts, and built shelters. By the time Homo sapiens appeared about 300,000 years ago, Earth was already home to several other human species, each with its own story of adaptation, survival, and extinction. We begin with the first bark of human ingenuity, the earliest marker of tools, Homo habilis, the handyman. Homo habilis, the handyman, appeared around 2.4 million years ago in East Africa, one of the earliest members of our genus. Discovered first by Lewis and Mary Leakey at Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania, this species marked a turning point in human evolution, the dawn of tool making. Standing about 1.3 meters tall with long arms and a relatively small body, Homo habilis still retained some ape-like traits suited for climbing, yet its brain, averaging 600 to 700 cubic centimeters, was nearly twice the size of Australopithecus. This increase in brain power brought innovation. At sites like Olduvai Gorge and Kubifora in Kenya, researchers uncovered sharp-edged stone flakes and hammerstones, the first known Olduan tools. These simple implements were used to cut meat, smash bones for marrow, and scrape hides, signaling a new level of problem-solving and foresight. Homo habilis likely scavenged carcasses rather than hunted, competing with predators like hyenas and saber-toothed cats. Evidence of cut marks on fossilized animal bones shows that they were among the first to exploit meat as a regular food source, a high-energy diet that may have fueled further brain growth. Though primitive compared to later humans, Homo habilis represents a crucial evolutionary bridge, bipedal yet partially arboreal, simple in tool use yet cognitively advanced. They paved the way for Homo erectus, who would refine toolmaking and spread beyond Africa. With the last fossils dating to around 1.4 million years ago, Homo habilis vanished, leaving behind the first sparks of intelligence that would one day define humanity. Homo erectus Homo erectus, the upright man, was among the most successful early humans, living from roughly 2 million to 100,000 years ago. Fossils found in Africa, Spain, China, and Java reveal a species strikingly human in body proportions, long legs, short arms, and a robust build suited to life on open plains rather than in trees. Their brain averaged 950 cubic centimeters, smaller than ours but far larger than earlier ancestors. Homo erectus made and used hand axes, cleavers, and choppers, likely scavenging meat at first before evolving into capable hunters. Wooden and grass tools may have existed too, though few survived time's decay. They may have been the first humans to control fire. At Wonderwork Cave in South Africa, one million year old ash and burned bones hint at hearths where they cooked or kept predators away. Yet climate shifts changed their world. Woodlands gave way to rainforests, and Homo erectus vanished around 100,000 years ago, leaving behind the first true evidence of humanity's expanding reach. Homo heidelbergensis Appearing around 700,000 years ago, Homo heidelbergensis thrived across Europe and Africa, perhaps even Asia. Broad-shouldered and strong-limbed, these early humans were built for cold climates, with short bodies that conserved heat. Their faces were flatter than earlier species, and their brains grew large, an important step toward modern humans. They were expert hunters, targeting huge animals such as rhinos, horses, deer, and even bears. At sites across Europe, butchered animal bones show clear marks of cooperation and organized hunting. Their tools, bifacial hand axes and cleavers, evolved from earlier Homo erectus designs. At the site of Gesher ben Yaakov in Israel, traces of hearths suggest that Heidelbergensis mastered fire. Many scientists believe European populations of Homo heidelbergensis gave rise to Neanderthals, while African groups evolved into Homo sapiens. In this way, they may have been the true common ancestor of both our species and our closest cousins. Homo floresiensis Discovered in Indonesia's Flores Island, Homo floresiensis, nicknamed the Hobbit, lived between 100,000 and 60,000 years ago. Barely 3.5 feet tall, with tiny brains and large feet, they seem almost mythical, yet they made stone tools, hunted pygmy elephants called stegodon, and fended off giant Komodo dragons. Thousands of stegodon bones found alongside their tools bear butchery marks, showing organized hunting. 
Though evidence of fire remains uncertain, traces at Liangbua Cave suggest they may have used it, or that later modern humans did after the hobbits vanished. Their miniature bodies and brains were likely the result of island dwarfism, an evolutionary response to limited food and isolation. The closest island to Floris is six miles away, implying that their ancestors, perhaps Homo erectus, somehow crossed open sea. That feat suggests lost seafaring skills. The youngest remains date to about 60,000 years ago, with tools as recent as 50,000 years ago, right when Homo sapiens reached the region. Many scientists believe contact with our species sealed their fate. Yet local legends still tell of the Ebu Gogo, or Little Ape Men, whispers of survival that blur the line between myth and memory. Homo naledi Discovered in 2015 within South Africa's rising star cave system, Homo naledi shocked scientists. Over 1,500 fossils from at least 15 individuals revealed a small-bodied species only 4 feet 9 inches tall, with a brain the size of an orange. Their anatomy was a strange blend. Long, human-like legs built for walking, but curved fingers and shoulders suited for climbing. They likely lived around 300,000 years ago, possibly at the same time as early Homo sapiens. Recent research claims that Homo naledi used fire deep in the caves, not just for light but perhaps symbolically, and even engraved rock walls. If true, these acts could rewrite what we know about the origins of human culture and symbolic thought. A stone tool found beside one skeleton supports the idea that they crafted and used implements. But with Homo sapiens soon spreading into the region, Naledi's limited intelligence and small numbers may have led to their disappearance. Their discovery remains one of the most surprising chapters in the human story. A small ancient species living in the shadows of modern humanity. Neanderthals Homo neanderthalensis lived across Europe and Western Asia for more than 200,000 years before disappearing around 40,000 years ago. Stocky, strong, and adapted to ice age cold, they had barrel chests, broad noses, and large brains, even larger than ours on average. Neanderthals were skilled hunters who used stone-tipped spears to bring down mammoths, horses, and reindeer, but they also gathered roots, nuts, and plants. They made specialized tools for scraping hides, cutting wood and bone, and crafting clothes. More remarkable were their signs of creativity. Ornaments, pigments, and engraved bones have been found across dozens of sites. At La Chapelle aux Saints in France and Shanidar in Iraq, burials suggest ritual behavior. Pigments like red ochre and black manganese oxide were used as colorants, some perhaps symbolic, others decorative. A possible flute carved from bone at Divji Babe Cave in Slovenia, dated to 60,000 years ago, may represent the earliest musical instrument ever found. Though debated, it hints at their artistic capacity. Neanderthals clearly controlled fire, cooked food, and cared for their sick. Some scientists believe they disappeared through interbreeding with Homo sapiens, while others blame climate change or competition. Genetic evidence now shows that all non-African humans carry small traces of Neanderthal DNA, the last echoes of an ancient reunion before their final disappearance, perhaps as recently as 24,000 years ago in Gibraltar. Denisovans The Denisovans, a mysterious sister species to Neanderthals, lived across Asia from about 300,000 to 50,000 years ago. They were first identified in 2010 from a girl's finger bone found in Siberia's Denisova cave, a site that also housed Neanderthals at different times. DNA analysis revealed that Denisovans and Neanderthals alternated occupying the cave for nearly 150,000 years, sometimes overlapping. Artifacts found there, a polished green stone bracelet, a bone needle, and animal tooth pendants, date to around 45,000 years ago and may have been crafted by Denisovans themselves. Though only fragments of their skeletons survive, genetic data suggests dark skin, dark eyes, and robust builds. They interbred both with Neanderthals and with early Homo sapiens. Up to 5% of the DNA in Melanesians and Aboriginal Australians comes from Denisovans, showing their wide geographic reach. One extraordinary fossil nicknamed Denny was the child of a Denisovan father and a Neanderthal mother, the only first-generation hybrid ever found. Their genes also carry traces of an even older, unknown human lineage over a million years distant. Denisovans likely faded through interbreeding or competition with modern humans, yet their DNA survives within us, influencing traits from altitude adaptation to immune function, a hidden inheritance from a vanished people.
Human evolution remains a vast puzzle built from fragments, fossils, tools, and strands of ancient DNA. As new discoveries emerge, each piece reshapes our understanding of who we are and how many kinds of humans once walked this earth, together, apart, and ultimately, within us.